Okay, hello guys and once again, welcome back to the channel. This is MMOPH and for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the steps and the guide on how you can play Trickster Mobile using your desktop computer or your laptop. Now, this is a cross-platform application. It's the only application we can use right now in order to play the game on your computer. Now, in order to do so, I'm gonna be showing you some links on the description. Make sure to open the links and you need to register in the game platform as well and all the steps will be provided in the description now let's begin okay so the first thing you need to do would be to visit the website in order to sign up for an account using your phone number Google Facebook and Apple is currently not working right now I have tested it doesn't work then click to agree all after that confirm the age or older once you do, you will be redirected on the next tab wherein you need to enter a phone number. So you need to select your area code, then enter your phone number in order to get the verification to continue with the sign up. Now we have different choices here. You can either use your main account or main phone number. You can use an alternate or dummy phone number or you can create a number using different websites. The most recommended option I would suggest would be to use a dummy account or a dummy phone number that you have access to. But on this case, I'm actually using my main phone number because every time I log in on Purple, it will be asking you to type in the verification code for the account. So if you're using a different number and you don't have access on that number, you might have uh, future issues wherein you won't be able to log in because you don't have the verification code. So make sure to decide before you sign up on what number you want to use. Once you enter your number, there would be a pop-up. You just need to click on OK. After that, a notification or a message alert would be sent out to your phone, wherein you need to input the new codes on the website. So just enter the codes and click on OK. And now you need to enter your six-digit security pin. So it's any numbers. You would need to do this twice. So for me, as I'm only testing this out, I just made it simple and easily uh, memorable, which is 1 to 6. So make sure you use your 6-digit security code, something that you won't ever forget. Okay, so once you enter once, you just need to enter it again in order to verify the 6-digit PIN code. After that, your sign-up is complete, so you can now click on OK. Now for the next step, we need to go to the website or a different website in order to download the cross-platform app. So this would be Purple. You need to visit the website here. I'll be sharing that later on on my on the description. Anyway, you just need to click on the big purple button. There would be a notification if you want to download. Just click on OK. After you finish downloading, run the application. After that, you can direct where you either, either you want to, it to be installed in Drive C or Drive D. But in my case, I have all my games installed on D. That's why I have it transferred on a different drive. Actually, that would be your choice. Okay, so after you finish downloading and installing Purple, you just need to click on OK and we need to visit a different website. It would be the third website on the description. Now on the third website, we actually need to download the game itself or the APK file or the installation file for Trickster M19. So why are we downloading the M19? Because it has a lot more options compared with the 12. Uh, 12 below for the 12 below some of the options for trading are disabled and for the 19 above most or not most but every option is available for you to use okay so once you download the app there should be another pop-up for the installation there we go so you have the option to install the game on the recommended folder that would be on drive c but if not, you can do what I did. I actually transferred the game over to Drive D because I want my files on a single drive. So what I did here was transfer or copy the game folder first. Then I switched to D and went to my game folders. Afterwards, I copied the ending of the game or the one that I highlighted earlier. 
and posted it on drive d before i installed the game you don't have to do this you can just directly install it on drive c if you want when you're done just click on ok and the game should start installing okay after you do this you just need to open the purple icon on your desktop and you need to log in using your phone number so it's very important that you have access on that phone number because you will receive the verification on that very same number once you enter or once you log in with your phone number a verification code will be sent you just need to enter the code and click on ok and afterwards we will be transferred over to the game banner so we just need to wait for now okay so after you enter your verification code make sure to enter your six digit security code and once you receive or once the pop-up for the game banners open you just need to select trickster m in order to proceed okay so this is it this would be the third game or the oh yes the third game on that pop-up so just select that and the purple application should open just select the third game once again and once you do the game should immediately start updating you can see on the lower right corner that the buttons or the download button has already started but those are the tiny three buttons that you can see moving so the game is already updating slash installing so we just need to wait and if you notice on the upper left corner of the game banner you should also see that there's a white line moving you just need to wait for that to complete in order to make sure that the game has successfully installed once the game is successfully installed you don't have to click anything you just need to wait for another pop-up your screen should freeze for a bit if it does a pop-up for a new app should have already shown up and that this would be that window once you see this window we just need to activate a few more uh, we need to log in again and we need to activate the security feature of the game uh, if you encounter the black screen th this is actually normal this can take to a few seconds to a few minutes depending on the computer or maybe your internet speed so just be patient and wait for me it took me around two to three minutes before the game flashed okay so there we go so after the game flashes uh, we would be placed under the introductory game whatever okay so there we go we just need to wait okay so click on the blinking blue button that would be the start button okay once you do click on the blue button again and you need to click on both boxes in order to continue playing the game so just click on both and click on the right side corner of the checkbox in order to proceed afterwards we need to activate the security uh, feature of the game so just click on that red one and click on the blue button in order to install or update or in order to make sure that we can continue play, playing the game and click on the box and cl then click on ok again okay so once you do another verification code will be sent on your phone number so you need to make sure that you have access afterwards enter your verification code and click on ok okay now so you need to enter your account name so for me i'm going to be entering mmoph make sure to like and subscribe is this if this video help you out play the game so once you enter your account name just click on ok click on ok again and the security on the left side button should be green now we need to select a server now there's an english server going around on the guides where i got this so just click on the blue button in order for us to select a server 
Now click on the middle option on the upper corner. Afterwards, afterwards, just browse over it, and there's the server. You can notice 222. Uh, if you didn't notice it, you can pause. Afterwards, just click on the blue button again for you to start. And now, you can enter the game. Okay, guys, so this is it for MMOPH. I hope you do enjoy the game. I won't be showing you my game because I wasn't able to understand a single word. So I might be waiting for the English version of this one or if there's going to be a patch for an English version. And this is it. And once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have problems.